This Spotlight on Income Fame is sponsored by American Retirement Systems, providing competitive solutions for agents and advisors. For more information, please visit AmericanRetirementSystems.com. Advisors must be able to communicate the difference between independence and objectivity when providing investment advice to clients, according to a new study released by ESI. Advisors tend to focus on explaining their fees or the reasons for specific product features in order to establish their objectivity, which can come across as defensive, the study found. According to Jim Morris, Senior Vice President for SEI's Global Wealth Services Unit, quote, Advisors are playing defense when they should be playing offense. They spend too much time talking about things they don't do. We don't give you our own funds. Our fees are fair. You can trust me, unquote. Such self-confidence issues can prevent advisors from connecting with investors who are simply seeking advice, SEI said. 39% of investors defined objectivity as understanding my situation and my needs, while just 31% of advisors chose the same definition. Meanwhile, 92% of wealth managers cited unbiased recommendations as the top way to communicate objectivity to clients, while 81% listed fee transparency and 80% said non-proprietary products. Most affluent clients are happy with their financial advisors, but often look elsewhere for specialized financial advice, according to the Dow Jones Affluent Investor Study. The survey found that while 70% of affluent investors said they are extremely or very satisfied with their current advisor or wealth manager, they often seek help from other professionals when it comes to certain financial needs. 17% of respondents said they're not receiving enough information or counseling about tax strategies from their current advisor, while 14% said they looked elsewhere for help with estate planning, and 13% felt their advisor didn't provide sufficient advice on emerging markets. Additionally, nearly half of wealthy wealthy investors said they prefer to manage their own investment portfolios. One-third of the 1,287 respondents with more than $500,000 in investable assets said they have not developed a retirement plan with their financial advisor, Dow Jones said. Most employees have not changed the amount they contribute to their 401k or savings accounts despite the economic downturn, according to CareerBuilder survey. The survey found that 79% of respondents said they did not reduce the amounts they put in their 401ks or savings accounts in the last year. In addition, 46% said they would use their tax returns to pay off bills, compared to last year's survey when 56% said they would use their returns to pay off debt. While 61% said they still live paycheck to paycheck, this is a decrease from the 77% who said they lived paycheck to paycheck in the previous study. For more industry spotlights, visit producersweb.com.